We are now several days past the closest approach of the interstellar object known as 3I Atlas, also designated C2025N1. On December 19th, this object passed Earth at a distance of roughly 270 million kilometers. In astronomical terms, that is not a close call. It was never a threat. It was never expected to do anything more than quietly pass through, get cataloged, and disappear into the outer solar system. But that is not what happened. As 3I Atlas moved through our neighborhood, a series of anomalies began to appear, not just in telescopes pointed at the sky, but in systems here on Earth, in data streams that are not usually associated with passing comets at all. What we are left with now is not a single mystery, but a chain of events that refuses to resolve into a simple explanation. Tonight, we are going to look carefully at what was observed, what changed, and why some researchers believe that whatever 3i Atlas is, it does not behave like anything we have previously studied. Let's begin with the most unexpected data point. Shortly after the object's closest approach, independent monitoring stations began recording an unusual spike in Earth's electromagnetic background. Specifically, in the Schumann resonance, the natural standing wave formed between Earth's surface and the ionosphere. Normally, this system is remarkably stable. Its fundamental frequency sits at approximately 7.83 Hertz with predictable harmonics above it. This pattern has been measured for decades and rarely deviates in a significant way. But during the window surrounding the flyby, observers reported a sustained high amplitude signal centered around 25 Hertz. This was not a brief fluctuation. It was not noise. It was not easily explained by lightning activity, solar wind disturbances, or known atmospheric effects. The signal appeared suddenly, remained coherent, and then faded. Timing matters here. The emergence of this 25 Hz signal aligned precisely with the period when 3i Atlas was nearest to Earth. That alone does not prove a connection. Correlation is not causation. But in physics, timing is never ignored. It is logged, it is examined, it becomes part of the puzzle. So what could cause a resonant shift of this kind? A conventional comet should not. At that distance, a passive object made of ice and dust has no known mechanism to interact with Earth's electromagnetic cavity in a measurable way. There's no gravitational explanation, no optical explanation, and no accepted electromagnetic coupling model that fits the observations cleanly. This leads us to the next anomaly. While Earth's background field showed unexpected behavior, 3i Atlas itself was changing. Early observations had established a stable rotation period for the object. Its brightness variations indicated a rotational cycle of approximately 16.16 hours. This was consistent across multiple observation runs. Then, during the closest approach, window, that period shifted. Updated light curve analysis suggests the rotation accelerated to roughly 15.48 hours. That may not sound dramatic, but in physical terms, it is enormous. Spinning up an object of this size requires a substantial transfer of angular momentum. Normally, comets can change their spin through outgassing. Jets of sublimating material act like thrusters. But when that happens, we see the consequences clearly. Dramatic brightening, expanding comas, and visible structural disruption. None of that was observed here. The brightness remained relatively stable. The object did not fragment. There was no explosive outburst that could account for such a rapid change in rotation. And yet, the spin increased. Once again, timing matters. This change occurred during the same window as the electromagnetic anomaly on Earth. At this point, mainstream models begin to strain. The conservative explanation argues that 3i Atlas is an interstellar comet with unfamiliar composition. Perhaps it contains exotic ices. Perhaps its internal structure responds differently to thermal stress. Perhaps we are simply seeing a rare natural case. Those are reasonable possibilities, but the data does not stop there. High resolution composite imaging taken during and after the spin-up event revealed a structure that does not resemble a typical comet nucleus. Instead of a bright central core surrounded by a diffuse coma, the images show a dark central region, sharply defined, encircled by a luminous ring. This is not how comets usually appear. In standard cases, the nucleus reflects sunlight. It is the brightest point. Here, the center appears to absorb light. The brightness comes from a surrounding ring, not from the core itself. Some researchers argue this is an optical illusion, a shadowing effect, a dust geometry artifact. 
Those explanations are being actively tested, but what makes this feature difficult to dismiss is its symmetry. Shadows shift with rotation. Dust jets are chaotic. This structure remains centered and coherent across multiple observations. The ring also brightened. During the same period, the rotation rate increased. That connection matters. If the object were shedding mass unevenly, we would expect instability. Instead, the system appears controlled, almost balanced. The faster it spins, the clearer the ring becomes. This brings us to the most controversial interpretation. Some researchers have suggested that 3i Atlas may not be a solid body at all, but a hollow structure or a shell-like configuration. In nature, hollow macroscopic objects are extremely rare. Gravity favors solid aggregation. Cavities collapse, voids fill. Engineering, however, produces hollow forms routinely. This does not mean the object is artificial. It means the geometry is unusual enough to raise the question. And when combined with the electromagnetic anomaly, the rotation, acceleration, and the visual structure, the conversation shifts from, what is this made of? To how is this behaving? At this point, comparisons to previous interstellar visitors become unavoidable. Oumuamua showed non-gravitational acceleration without a visible tail. Borisov behaved like a classic comet, but disintegrated rapidly. 3i Atlas is different. It remained intact. It maintained coherence. It changed state without obvious mass loss. Now, we must look forward. Trajectory analysis shows that 3i Atlas is not simply drifting away. In March 2026, it will pass near Jupiter's orbital region, close enough to experience significant gravitational and magnetic influence. This is statistically unusual. An interstellar object passing near Earth and then near Jupiter on a single traversal is unlikely, though not impossible. Jupiter's magnetic field is the largest and most energetic in the solar system. If any environment could interact strongly with a charged or structured object, it would be there. Importantly, 3i Atlas does not need Jupiter for a gravity assist. Its hyperbolic excess velocity is already sufficient to escape the sun. That raises a question. Why pass so close? The conservative answer is chance. The speculative answer is intent. Science cannot accept intent without evidence, but it also cannot ignore patterns that repeat without explanation. If nothing happens at Jupiter, the mystery quiets. If the object behaves normally, the natural explanation strengthens. But if another state change occurs, the implications grow far more serious. So where does this leave us? It leaves us without a verdict. The mainstream position remains that 3i Atlas is a natural interstellar body with unusual properties. That position is reasonable. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, but what cannot be dismissed is that multiple independent anomalies aligned in time with this object's passage. Earth's electromagnetic environment changed. The object's rotation changed. Its visible structure changed. No single data point proves anything. Together, they demand continued attention. 3i Atlas is now leaving. It will fade. By the end of the decade, it will be gone. Lost to interstellar space. But the questions it raised will remain. If another object like this appears, we will need faster detection, better instrumentation, and more openness to uncomfortable data. Because the most important discoveries in science do not arrive announced. They arrive quietly, as inconsistencies. And this one has not resolved yet. If you want continued updates as we track the Jupiter encounter and analyze new data as it arrives, make sure you are subscribed. The universe is not obligated to behave the way we expect, and sometimes the most unsettling discoveries are the ones that do nothing at all, except force us to rethink what we thought we understood.